Hey, bud. How you feeling? Huh? You feeling better? Yeah, he's feeling a lot better. There's this little stakeout point here in the corner where he sits and looks out in the backyard. What's up? You're a lion cub. Look at your big mane. Look at that. <laughs> well, 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 it's a new day and uh, yeah, auto show is officially over. She's back home where she belongs in the garage. Again, thanks to everyone that came out. It was absolutely awesome. If you haven't checked out the previous video where we had some badass rev offs all weekend in the Ferrari and the super light, go check it out. But today's video is not about the Ferrari. We're gonna jump in the M5 and we're gonna go pick up the F-150. Had some work done, it had some work done. in this freaking car gas 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 it's by far the car in the fleet that has the worst at least city mileage just do daily driving in this car and you'll have to get gas every day all right so we're back in good old moon township and we're uh, gonna go to auto illusions and pick up the f-150 as we said because when we put the lift kit on I have to I have to admit I mean I love the lift kit nothing wrong with that but the truck kind of looked a little weird on the uh, 33s. So we have 20 by 12s, 33s, 12 and a halfs, and yeah, it didn't look right. So uh, we've taken care of that little issue. And we've also taken care of some other issues that I haven't really mentioned. Uh, not everything is fixed, but yeah, let's just head over there and take a look at the truck. All right, so here we are once again. Can you guys see the difference? <laughs> I do. I feel like we did this same segment just like what was it like a week or two ago with the truck with the new wheel setup? Look at that. Wow. I mean that you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys think I'm over exaggerating all the time and I'm like, oh wow, look at my car or truck or whatever. But man, that looks so much better. Get out of this car here. It does. I mean look at that. We should have done this from the beginning. It's so much better. Yes, we put 35 inch tires on the truck instead of the 33s that were on there in my opinion it was a mistake to lift the truck and keep it on 33s even though i have 20 inch wheels it looked kind of silly it looked kind of stupid so we have the 33 inch tires sitting in the bed here we'll get to that in a minute but i know i have a wide angle lens so sometimes it kind of distorts the look of the truck or the vehicle that i'm filming but this looks so much better. What do you guys think? I mean, I'm happy with it. Now we have a bit more rotational mass to deal with, but whatever. And uh, two things about the front here. What do you guys see? The light bar is gone. So we can see the little heat exchanger here or intercooler. The light bar got like water damage. So we're gonna send it over to Baja Designs. They're gonna either fix it or replace it. So that's gone now. We got a hole here in the front bumper. And check this out. See the grill? It's not painted, it's actually a brand new grill. So this mod was one of the first things we did on the truck after putting the exhaust on. And this it's such a great modification. It's a Raptor style grill. It's like 150 bucks. I have a link for it in the description along with all the other mods that we've done. This is a brand new grill. It's matte black. And I should add, the reason we put the new grill on was that uh, one of these amber lights went out. Now, I'm not really that much about amber lighting, so we haven't even connected them on this grill. And it was also a light gray color and it was starting to fade real bad. So I figured I'd just buy a matte black one and that looks so much better as well. And I understand for a lot of people, you might not even tell a difference, but I do. We'll do it before and after here. And also my passenger headlight is out. Not the DRL and the turn signal, but the headlight is out. So I'm gonna have this replaced. It hasn't been replaced yet. So that's what we've done to the truck and I mean, I mean, I, I'm sure I could have fit 37s on there, but I don't want that. The 35s look good enough, in my opinion. We'll do it before and after here as well. I love the way the truck looks on 35s. I mean, th this should have been done from the get-go. Yeah, that's so much better. I mean, it's the same width. They're 12 and a half. They're just 35s and they're Nitto Ridge Grapplers. Now, Rich did mention that he was kind enough to spray my engine bay off. Look at that. 
Yeah, I mean, it's still not clean. I was actually thinking about doing a engine bay cleaning video, but it looks a whole lot better. That's for sure. But you know what we gotta do now. It's mandatory. Cold start. Never gets old, never. Now another thing that makes this the best decision ever regarding lifting the truck and everything is that it doesn't rub. What I was really looking forward to when we did the lift on the truck was that I was you know, 99% sure that it definitely wasn't gonna rub on the 33s and it doesn't do it on the 35s either. Back to truck up here to the back of the shop because the next part of the video I was gonna mention that I was gonna sell these tires. They're brand new, they have like 200 miles on them and you know they're like what almost 1500 bucks for a set because they're like 360 a piece and i was going to sell them for a heavily heavily discounted price to someone that wanted them but rich just mentioned that uh his son is doing some truck build so he's going to buy them for his son so i'm going to unload them here and then get out on the road oh, yeah by the way we have the ready lift kit here still that a couple of people hit me up about this. I get so many DMs and messages on Facebook and stuff, so I don't know where they went. I am selling this ready lift kit with the stock shocks for $400. So whoever wants to come pick those up, just hit me up. The same people that have already hit me up, and I'll forget your name, hit me up again. If you can come pick them up, 400 bucks, it's yours. I mean, this kit is, I think it was over a thousand dollars new, so. Upper control arms, everything you need, the blocks for the rear, all that good stuff. And look at this angle here. I mean, yeah, 35s look so much better. Yeah, I mean, I'm taking such a hit on these tires. Selling them for 650, I bought them brand new for whatever, 1500 something, like two weeks ago. I should have just done this from the beginning. But whatever, decisions, decisions, they're not always good. So we still have the DRLs, no ambers, but the high end low beam on the passenger side is non-functional. I think it's because of, uh, I don't know, possibly water or mud or shit coming up there when we've been doing off-roading and mud and stuff like that. So, but man, I am so happy about how this truck looks. And for those of you guys who might be asking like, so why don't you just sell the tires for more money? I don't want to do that. Like when I'm selling stuff, for subscribers or close friends like Rich, I want to give them a good price, you know what I mean? So they know they're getting a great deal. So, I, you know, I'm bitching about oh, losing money and taking a hit and stuff. I don't, you know, don't care that much, but yeah. And I know it's not this crazy, super duper YouTuber, you know, 10 inch lift, like wow stuff. It's a four inch on 35s and I think it looks perfect. It handles and it rides just the way that I want it to ride. Right. <laughs> I got my new coming to the auto show. I'm a loser. <laughs> I was gonna come Friday and then I didn't. Then I was gonna come Saturday and then I didn't. Then Sunday I rode my dirt bikes. I had three tickets for free. Just uh, that you guys. Are you tripping, Co? For sure. So. so every time we do something to the truck, <laughs> even if Brian hasn't done it, but we've done so much together, I have to show him. Yeah, no, that, that looks proper now. Yeah, like, I know. I'm, I'm, like, like it's that. so good. I love it. So Brian just said that it, it, by this week he'll have uh, his millionth Million YouTube view. view. Thank you guys. And that's my awesome. Even I don't awesome. <laughs> you need I, I'm going to start working on that. There's actually a significant difference in the ride as well because of more sidewall. No rubbing and it looks a lot better. So, I mean, I, I know it's not as an exciting a video, I guess, but this is probably one of the best things I've done to the truck. The lift and the supercharger is definitely my favorite, but then just completing the look of it all with 35 inch tires and everything that comes with it. I mean, it's not Raptor smooth because we don't have that much tire and we don't have three inch Fox shocks with two and a halfs, but yeah, it is really, really nice. It's absorbing those little bumps in the road a whole lot better. Man, look at these ugly Ford Escapes. I'm sorry if you own one. I mean, I don't mean to disrespect you, but man, the new Escapes are ugly. Welcome back to the video. I guess it's a new day. Today is absolutely gorgeous. It's sunny. I've gone golfing. It's only about 40 degrees, but I had to take the Ferrari out. Uh, we have to get it warm because there's something I've been wanting to do, a fun little test between the Ferrari and the F-150. I've been not driving the F-150 all day, so that's warm. We're gonna drive home 
And then we're going to do uh, an awesome little comparison between the two very loud vehicles that we have in the driveway. But yeah, not before we get a little tunnel action. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, I've said it so many times, it doesn't get old. That will never, ever get old. It's going to get me like that every time. It is the sound. All right, so we're back home here. Uh, both cars are in the driveway, and what I have here is an app. It's a Decibel app. And what I think would be extremely interesting, since we've been spending the whole weekend doing rev ops with the Ferrari and uh, other supercars, why not do it with the F-150? We all know that this is super loud. It's an eight cylinder versus a 12 cylinder that's actually straight pipe. The F-150 is, I mean, sort of kind of close to it, I guess. It has a resonator and it's got race cats, but uh, rest of the stuff is pretty straight through. So I'm going to use this thing. I know there's probably better ways of doing it, but this is what we have right now. So we're going to do a little rev up between the F-12 and the F-150. Both vehicles are warm. Yeah, I mean, I haven't driven the F-150 in like maybe 10 minutes, but, but it should be pretty even. So I'm going to set this up uh, somehow. I don't know exactly how, but we'll figure it out. All right, so I have like this random post office box right there, and I have the phone right there aimed at the exhaust, which is like, I don't know, two feet away. Now, the interesting thing is that I won't know exactly which vehicle is the loudest until I go inside and edit. So you guys guess right now, which one do you think, the Ferrari? or the F-150. Now what we're also gonna do to make this fair is I'll rev to 6,000 RPMs, because this revs to like 8,500. The F-150, yeah, I can push it to six. So 6,000 RPMs in the, in the F-12, 6,000 in the truck. And we'll see which one is loudest. I'm gonna set the camera up here so it's facing the phone the whole time. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna go start the Ferrari, and then uh, you guys keep an eye on this. Now at some other point, we're gonna do a cold start comparison as well, of course, but Need the vehicle is cold, so we can't really do that now. What the hell? What the heck happened there? Did the exhaust just... No, it can't be. Oh, did it? All right, I guess we're gonna have to try that again because a couple of those revs, they went a little higher than 6,000. <laughs> well, this comparison sucks. Like, it even cracked my, well, I mean, it's the screen of the phone, but still, oh well. well We'll see what happens with the F-150. So yeah, we had to build a little higher concoction here, of course, since the F-150 sits a little higher than the Ferrari. So the F-150, I can actually remote start it, as we know here. So I'm gonna do that. It's still a warm start. It's not, you know, cold start. I wanna see what this says. Oh, I jumped up to 116. See, the, the screen protector is cracked here, it's here, down here, and here. <sighs> well, this test officially sucked. We know that. But, uh, yeah, well, I guess it was still kind of funny. But, like I said, I haven't seen this footage. So, uh, when I go in and edit, then we'll know if we got any kind of reading whatsoever. But we're going to end the video with that. So, my driveway is a little slanted, but I'm using a different camera that doesn't have that wide-angle lens. So, you can really see the truck it looks a lot more level now it just looks better all in general it rides better 35s was definitely the best decision uh, in a very long time in terms of equipment or modifications I mean tires aren't really all big mods but lifting the truck on 33s it just looked stupid and yeah I mean there was a mistake doing that I should have just bought these tires right off the bat but can you believe it that I, I fall more and more in love with this truck it's crazy. I mean, at one point, yes, I was thinking about getting rid of it, but yeah, it's staying. I absolutely love, especially now driving around in it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Spring is coming. I can feel it. Spring is coming. It, it's still not warm outside, but 
God, I can't wait. I freaking hate winter. But soon, it's gonna be gone. So, thanks so much for sticking around in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already, and you want to, please subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.